channel it is your girl Gigi with Gigi loves beauty too and I'm back with another shop my stash so this is going to be my February shop my stash video so I'm just going to show you guys really quickly these are my brush containers I had to add a brush container so that I can hold my smaller face brushes I've got my larger face brushes back here and I'm going to wash all of the dirty brushes so really quickly I'm going to show you the products that I'm going to keep in my stash for this month because it's Black History Month and I wanna pull as many black owned makeup brands as I possibly can. So there are gonna be some products that I'm going to keep in my stash. Starting right down here, uh, this is the Hutopian Dream Palette. I'm gonna keep that in. Danessa Myricks, that's a staple. You already know. If, you see, if you've seen any of my other shop my stashes, you already know how much I love that palette. That's going to stay in my shop, my stash, no matter what. I feel like I will never, ever put this back. It's always going to stay in this drawer. Um, Michaela Glam Light Palette. I've only used this once. And Glam Light is a black-owned brand, even though the collaborator is not black. But this palette is beautiful, and I've only used it once, so I want to get more use out of that. So this palette, Pat McGrath, Danessa Myricks are staying. Um... I did put back some lippies. Um, I just have these remaining. And I used almost all of these. I, there's a couple shades in here that I didn't use yet, but whatever I didn't use is gonna go back. I'm gonna switch out all my lip products. Um, here is the lip liner, mascara, primer, setting spray. I do think I'm gonna switch my setting sprays out, even though I don't have a black owned um, setting spray. But, and I, do I have a black old mascara? I do have a black old mascara. I think I'm going to um, get rid of the Blink mascara just because I've been using it for some months now and I think that this is ready to go. So I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put back, I'm gonna put another mascara in here in its place. Uh, I think I'm also gonna get rid of this Tarte Seascape. Tarte Sea Surfer Curl Mascara, this mini one. That is ready to go. Everything else is going to stay in here. Well, the these highlighters, liquid highlighters, those are gonna come out. Uh, I don't have really have a whole lot of lip liners from black owned brands, so whatever I've got in here is gonna stay. Because those are just staples that I always use. This is my complexion drawer right here that I have in my shop, my stash. So if you remember, I had four foundations in here originally, and now I have narrowed it down to two. These are some new additions that I found from the drugstore, the CoverGirl Outlast uh, Foundation in 865 Tawny, and I mixed it with the number seven Renew, Restore and Renew. And this is in Hazelnut. This is a beautiful combination. I found this uh, foundation on clearance at Walgreens for $5. And then the powder um, was also on clearance, and this is in Translucent Deep, and this was like three dollars so yeah got the concealers my bronzers my highlighters mostly all of this is coming out and then at the very top this is where I keep my smaller eyeshadow palettes uh, miscellaneous brow products stuff for your lashes lash primer liquid shadows I'm actually going to declutter this um, Mora in air glow I took the Excuse me, I took the stopper out, but it's just, the formula is just too dry. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, but I think I am going to keep in the other liquid shadows and this one too, and also this. So let me get everything out of here that I'm going to get out of here. There's some brow products that I'm gonna uh, take out of here. Let me just get everything out that I want to get out. Um, put it in the basket, get it over to the bed, Open everything up that I can, show you guys the color stories, and then we'll move on to Here's the next. what I have left for my January Shop My Stash. Again, I had a lot more palettes pulled, and I wasn't using them because there was just a time period where I wasn't wearing makeup pretty much for like two weeks straight, and I just wasn't getting to the palettes, so I, t I put a lot of them back. So this is a fairly smaller Shop My Stash than I had when I originally filmed it in January, but I'll show you everything. The Morphe palette, the blush palette from Ulta, uh, Revlon Skin Lights, Makeup Geek, Patrick Ta. I never used, I didn't use this. I still haven't used this yet. Milani Red Vino didn't use that. 
Uh, this is um, the e.l.f. in Bermuda. I love this one. And I love to use this when I was on days when I like didn't have any other makeup on. This one I got from BoxyCharm. I pulled this in mid-month. This is the BoxyCharm cream. Uh, this is the Shayna B cream blush in Rosa. And this one is nice. Um, I have to build it up quite a bit to get it to show up on my face, but it was really nice. My liquid highlighters here, my setting sprays, the Morphe, the Farsali. I'm gonna put those back. I've got enough use out of them. Milk Hydro Grip, love this primer, but I'm gonna put it back so that I can get use out of something else. I also condensed down my lip products signif significantly in the last couple weeks of the month. So I only have these left here that I was using. Glam Light, loose highlighter, beautiful. My bronzers, Makeup Revolution, and my e.l.f. powder foundation that I use as a bronzer, my cream bronzer from Soul Body. And these are the complexion products that I was left with. I also pulled in MAC Painterly Primer. Um, I'm, I'm probably gonna keep this in too because I, I wanna chest this out with the uh, Glam Light palette. So I've got my foundations, again, the CoverGirl, the number seven, my three concealers, uh, e.l.f., Mora, and Sephora Best Skin Ever. The Laura Mercier powders, these are beautiful. I'm very tempted to keep these in, but again, I'm gonna switch them out. Need to show some love some more. Uh, I need to show some love to some more black owned makeup brands. Here is the Urban Decay Brow Blade. This was really good. I enjoyed that. I did not get to use these two products at all. And then here are the remaining eyeshadow palettes that I kept in my shop, my stash. So um, this is going to go back. And so is the Too Faced palette. And these three palettes are going to stay because I want to get more use out of them. So um, that's what I had remaining. And now is the time where I insert a slideshow of the looks that I did. Again, I did not look, I did not do my makeup that much in the month of January. So I only have six looks to share with you guys. So I will insert this, the slideshow with the six looks and then we will move on to going through my drawers and picking out new makeup for the month of February. Let's get into picking some new makeup for the month of February. And if you are new here and you have never seen any of my Shop My Stashes, I like to pick my eyeshadow palettes first, and then I will build the rest of the Shop My Stash around the palettes. And once again, the theme this month is black owned makeup brands and brown skin girl friendly products. So we're gonna start over here. I'm actually not pulling too many, but I already have three palettes over there that I'm keeping. So. This palette, I literally just got in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and it is the Beauty Bakery Do It For The Gram eyeshadow palette. I really want to try that one. And this uh, next palette I'm going to pull is not a Black-owned brand, but they collabed with a Black creator, and it is the ABH Jackie Ina palette. Got to have this this month. I mean, pretty much the best ABH palette that they've ever done hands down okay you can fight me if you want to but that's my personal opinion juvia's place definitely going to pull something from juvia's place i want to pull a palette that i don't use that often so i'm gonna grab the mini masquerade palette from here gonna move on to drawer number one which i don't think i'm gonna pull too much from here but i am going to grab i'm gonna try the juvia's place i prep i prime eyeshadow primer um <clears throat> yeah eyeliners i usually pull them as i need them and as far as my uh sparkly things um i might just grab this one in regal from mora because i have two more that's already pulled in my collection i think that's all i'm gonna pull i don't want i, I really don't want to pull anything from over here and eyeliners i just pull as i need them so Put that up there. I'm gonna go to the Big Daddy eyeshadow palette drawer. 
And I'm only gonna pull two more palettes out of here. So I'm gonna grab the Pat McGrath from Mothership 10. This is the Moonlit Seduction. This is a cool tone palette, neutrals. Cool tone neutrals, that's gonna be really good. And then I wanna grab a Ace Beauté. This is also a black owned brand, the Flare palette. And I don't use this. This is my least used palette from Ace Beauté. So I wanna grab that and add that to the stash. Let's move on to drawer number three, which is my complexion drawer. So I have all of my foundations, concealers, all of that. And I'm going to pull three foundations and three concealers. So I'm gonna grab, I know I just had this, but I'm gonna grab my LYS foundation. I love that. And I'm also going to grab the I should even grab four foundations. I'm gonna grab the Fenty Skin Tint because I haven't used this in literally forever. This is in the shade 16. I'm gonna grab my Mented Foundation Stick in T30. And then I'm also going to grab the Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place I Am Magic uh, Velvet Matte Foundation in 435 Punta Cana. And I like to mix this one with the LYS and these are a beautiful combo. So those are going to be those are going to be my four foundations for the month. Now on to pulling some concealer. So I know I just had these in here, but um, let me just grab them. They're all the way at the bottom. I literally was just using them <laughs> in December, but I'm going to pull them again. The LYS Triple Fix Foundation. Uh, Sorry, the LYS Triple Fix Brightening Concealers. So I have TG5 and TN3. I'm gonna grab those. And then I'm also gonna grab the Juvia's Place Concealer in 14. My cream bronzers, I'm gonna pull in both of my LYS Stick Cream Bronzers. Excuse me, I have Courage and Strength. And then for my powders, I'm gonna pull my um, Beauty Bakery Flower Better Not Bitter Powder. This is the translucent one for under my eyes. And then over here, I'm gonna grab this one, but I, I this is really dark. This is in Cacao, which is brown. Um, this is really, really dark. So I'm gonna also grab the Fenty Pro Filter in Honey, and I'm gonna mix these two powders together and put them on the face. On to drawer number four see if I need anything from out of here. Um, I actually am gonna grab another mascara out of here. I wanna replace the one that I just um, got rid of. And so I'm going to grab the Fenty mascara. I have not tried this yet. This is the full frontal mascara. And then I also have one from Pat McGrath. I just wanna finish this up. This is the Fetish Eyes. Wait, do I have a, do I have a mini of that one? I had a mini of that one. I might have used it already though. Yeah, I think I used that one already. So let's just go with the full size one. So I'm gonna grab these two mascaras right here from this drawer. And then for brows, um, I'm just gonna grab the, where is it? The Juvia's Place. Um, I sculpt, I shade, this is the brow pen. And then I, I, thought I, had, I thought I had uh I thought I had like uh the, the gel in here too in this place. Let me just see if I can find it really quick. I'm an idiot. This is actually the gel. <laughs> That's the gel right there. Here is the pen. This is the brow pen, and then here's the brow gel. So I'm gonna grab these two brow products right here. Um Am I gonna grab anything from over here? I don't know. I honestly don't think I'm gonna grab, you know what? I am gonna grab one thing. I'm, I'm, uh, do I want anything from over here? As far as liquid highlighter. Let's grab the NYX Born to Glow Illuminator in Sun Goddess. And for highlighter, I'm gonna grab the Mac and Tiana Taylor. This is not a black owned brand, but Tiana Taylor is a black creator and they and they collaborated with her. So I'm gonna grab this limited edition highlighter. 
on to drawer number five which is my bronzer blush and highlighter drawer one of my favorite drawers ever <laughs> so for powder bronzer um i'm gonna grab one of my juvia's place bronzer duos i'm actually, I'm actually gonna grab the lighter one that i have this one is in tan and this is a really nice soft bronzer duo and i love to use this shade right here to bronze my nose so i'm gonna grab that one and then from over here, uh, I'm going to grab my Fenty bronzer in Coconati and also my LYS bronzer in Strength. Where is it? Is this one right here? Yeah, my LYS matte bronzer in Strength. Also going to grab one of my cream blushes from LYS. Um, is Confident my favorite shade? I think Confident is my favorite shade. Yeah, that's my favorite, like, most used shade. So I'm going to grab that one. That's a staple. Um, and then I'm also going to grab one of my Pat McGrath's. One of my Pat McGrath blushes. So I have Electric Bloom and Love Struck. Let's get these out of here. Let's get these out of here. I'll open them up, show you the colors, and then I'll pick which one. I wrote the blushes, y'all. And I think I've used this one before, but I haven't used this one. This one is in uh electric bloom so i think i'm gonna pull that one so i've got an everyday blush and then i've got a really bright blush and then i do oh, sorry y'all i do want to pull another blush i know it's gonna sound crazy i'm gonna pull one of my juvia's place blushes let's see which one do i want yeah let's pull this one this one i think is in sangria or no, Serafina. Let's pull Serafina. It's a really nice warm tone. For highlighter, I'm going to grab mostly Fenty. So I'm going to grab this one, little mini one right here in Hustler Baby. And then, nope, I don't want that one. I want Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. And then I want to grab another brown, brown girl friendly bronzer and affordable one not bronzer but highlighter this is the glow and bronze powder for face and body from kiss i got this from amazon this was a recommendation that i saw colorful camille um show on her channel so i'm gonna grab those three highlighters right here over here so this section of my makeup collection i always like to show you guys what's in here this is the top drawer i'm not gonna pull anything else out of here um, because i already have the glam light um, michaela palette that's the michaela pot two i'm actually gonna pull that next month so there's that i do need another primer um i don't really have primers from black one brands um but i do want to pull i definitely want to pull a different primer to use so i think I, I think yeah i want to grab the no problem primer from touch and soul and then I think I'm actually going to try this primer right here. This is the Pink Lip Soft Matte Primer. I'm going to try that one too that I got from either Ipsy or BoxyCharm. Now down to, nope, not the last drawer. I picked I pick those as I need them, but as you can see, I have decluttered a ton of lashes out of here. And I am so proud of how this looks now. I have my staples in here that I love. I got rid of all the, I'm getting rid of all the lashes that don't work for me, that are too dramatic. And I just wanted to keep the ones that I know I will use. So that's that. Let's get to the lip drawer. Lip glosses. Uh, This is gonna be a no brainer for me. Um, Affordable wise, gonna go with, Juvia's Place in Sis. Uh, under here, do I have any? These are brown girl friendly uh, lip glosses, but I really wanted to stick to my black ones. So I got the Juvia's Place one, and now I'm gonna go over here because most of my black owned brands are high end. So we're gonna grab Fenty in Baby Brute. I'm also gonna grab Fenty in uh, Cake Shake. And then underneath are some Pat McGrath glosses there. So I'm gonna grab two of these. I think I'm gonna grab the two right in the center. And these are, uh, let's see, what are these? I think that's, sorry, these are Divine Rose 
and flesh four. So I'm gonna grab those as well. Let's go down to the drawer below. So it's just in that drawer. Let's go down to the drawer below in my lipstick drawer. And I'm not gonna pull any liquid. Well, yes, I am. I'm gonna grab one liquid lipstick, which is, is it in here? Or it might be in here. Yeah. Fenty Stunna Lip Paint in Uncuffed. Let's grab that. Um, let's grab one of my, let's grab another one of my Mented's, Mented number five. And then I wanna grab one more that I haven't used yet, Pretty in Pink. Let's grab those two. And then also, um, I wanna grab one of my Juvia's Places and then I'm gonna grab um, maybe a couple of Propas. So I think for this, I wanna grab Toffee. Juvia's Place Toffee. And then for my Propas, this is also an amazing black home brand. I definitely wanna grab my Dynamite. This is the orange, the only orange lipstick that I have. This is so freaking gorgeous. And I want like kind of, uh, let's go with this one right here. What's this one? This one is Unstoppable. This is kind of like, yeah, this is kind of like a berry reddish shade. So we'll grab that one. I totally skipped the drawer. I did not even pick any face palettes. <laughs> so let's pick some face palettes. Um, let's go with over here. Again, this is not a black owned brand, but it's a collab with a black creator. This is the Makeup Revolution and Patricia Bright face palette. We'll grab that one. I'm not gonna grab too many. I think I only want two. So I want one of these Juvia's places, but I'm not sure which one. I think I wanna pick the one that I don't use as often, which technically would be this one. I love this one so much. I love this so much. You know what, I'm gonna pull them both. I'm gonna pull all three of these. Makeup Revolution, Patricia Bright, Juvia's Place, Saharan Blush Palette Volume 1 and 2. I'm pulling all of them. And I forgot to pull Setting Spray. <laughs> so let's go to the Setting Spray drawer because I did say I was going to put the other two back. So I'm going to go with, hmm, what do I do? Um, again, this is another part of my collection where I don't have a lot of black-owned makeup brands, but I want to pull, hmm, let's see, I already used, let's go with, what? no, that's Summer Solstice. Um, I'm gonna open a new one from over here. What's this one? The Professional Super Setter. Yeah, let's try that one. I haven't tried that one yet. And then I want one more like dewy setting mist. Uh, do I, wanna, I don't want to open a new one. I'm gonna go with this one right here, the Siati London Everyday Vacay. This one gives a really nice dewy uh, finish. So. We'll go with these two setting sprays right, right here. Y'all, so here is the finished Bomb Makeup Brand and Black Girl Friendly, Brown Skin Girl Friendly Shop My Stash. So here's an overview. We have got the Juvia's Place, Saharan 1 and 2, Patricia Bright. We've got LYS, Fenty, more Juvia's Place, Pat McGrath. Here are the lip products. I added in um, a lip gloss. This one is in Taffy Tees from Fenty. Wanted to pull that one in. So I have that. Here's my powders, primers, complexion products, uh, brow products. I also decided to pull in a brow pencil, my minted brow pencil, because I'm putting back the Urban Decay one. And then I also wanted to add in the NYX Born to Glow Illuminator in Gleam. There are the other highlighters that I have, and here are all the eyeshadow palette color stories. So we got the Glam Light Michaela, Danessa Goes Nowhere, my two Pat McGraths, Juvia's Place, Beauty Bakery, ABS Jackie Ina, and the Ace Beauty Flare. So I'll go ahead and get my old stash put back, put this new stash where it belongs, and we will wrap up this video. Okay, y'all, here we go. Here is the finished Shop My Stash. Um, again, I'm going to wash all of those brushes before I start using the rest of this makeup. So let me just show you what it looks like. So I have these products in here, the top drawer. I put some of the smaller palettes up here. Brow products, eyeliner, lash stuff, lash glue is up there. 
second drawer is the complexion and also um, bronzer, blush, and highlighter. I have that in here. Third drawer, I put the primer in there. I also stuck this, I stuck this palette down here, but I think, I think I might stick this up here in the top drawer. Yeah, it fits up there. So I'll stick that up there so it's not down here. Yeah, this looks a lot neater. So yeah, we have mascara, my liquid highlighters, my lip liners, setting spray, and then I also threw down here the stick bronzers. And then this first drawer right here for this organizer down here is always for my eyeshadow palettes, my larger eyeshadow palettes, and also face palettes. And then my lip products are in there. So I am ready to go for the month of February. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you are new here and you have not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, make sure that you are following me on my other social medias, GGLosBD2. We'll put the handle right here. Also, make sure you have your notifications turned on so that you don't miss any content from me, okay? I love all of you returning subscribers. Thank you for continuing to support your girl. And to all of my newbies who come on board, thank you for joining me as well. I will see you guys in the next Shop My Stash. Bye. Well, I